Hey guys, this is Peter and I'm back on the side of the road because I got an AT&T card and well, I wanted to test this out. See, those towers out there, I figured out, are 7.3 miles away and they do have AT, whoop, where'd it go? AT&T equipment on them. So, what I'm gonna do is take this modem. This is 4G modem. This is from Elsys and you can see right now it's picking up an LTE signal from AT&T, 1900 megahertz, which is a very fast band. And right now I'm getting 88%. So actually when I extend this pole, I get 99%. Let me just set it up towards that hill. There, there's a button on this. When I push it, it starts beeping. Do you hear it? Can you hear that? Really high frequency right now. It's saying 99%. I'm gonna go a little bit higher. Let it keep beeping, that's fine. Of course I could turn it off. But now I'm gonna do a speed test. Yeah, I'll take you out of the sun for this. So here's my phone. I'm going to put it in airplane mode. Bing! In airplane mode, there we go. But Wi-Fi is still on. And I'm pulling my Wi-Fi, which is that little unit over there. It's a GLI net. It's the AX3000. Really good little device. But here. Let's go ahead and do a speed test. You can see it's pulling at and Let's see what I can see. Okay, yeah, it's at and and got my surfboard in there. See, I'm on my way to go surfing. Look at this. I'm pulling 63. This is insane. This is with the 4G modem, guys. So I'm pulling above 50. Very good. 32 ping. There are people that live around here that have no idea they can get this kind of signal. Zero idea. Fifty-three sixteen. Oh, fifty-three sixteen. That is not a bad score at all. And I'm going to try it, of course, with the five G modem. Five G, even though I have a four G card, is going to do something special. See, this is Cat nineteen, which means it can aggregate multiple bands. In fact, it can pick up to five. So even though it's four G LTE, it can pick up to five bands of that and aggregate them together. I can get some wicked fast speeds. Let's give that a shot. All right, well, this is uh, Elsys' 4G modem. It's been selling for years in Brazil. Brazil has some amazing terrain. So this is the SIM card. I'm simply gonna pull it out, and then I'm gonna switch heads. I'm gonna take this one off, zip tie in there to keep it from moving. And I'm gonna zip tie this one in its place. This is their 5G version. Vastly superior device but a different price point so I respect the uh, the budgets of others you know we all have a different thing going so this one can be pricier it is pricier but is it worth it see off everyone often asks me what's the cheapest gateway I can get it's like asking what's the least expensive pair of glasses I could buy my kid you want to buy the right one because it's gonna pay off day after day year after year all right, I'm gonna throw this one through just to keep it from twisting. And here, let me show you how this goes. There's a little bay down here, and it has the exact same buttons. So I'm gonna open it up here, powered over Ethernet still. There, it's got two SIM slots as well as an eSIM. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be impossible to show you that. Two slots and an eSIM. Oh, I already have a card in here. That's my T-Mobile card. Here's my AT&T card. All right, let's plug in the Ethernet. When you plug in the Ethernet, it's gonna to start to power up. And then what's gonna happen over here, that little box is already has Wi-Fi. This one's producing Wi-Fi. 
but when it picks up an internet signal, it's going to broadcast the internet signal. Let's give it a go. Sim 1. It's found an AT&T Sim. It's pulling B2. B2 is 4G. Now, for some reason, they gave me a 4G Sim. So, this is going to pull 4G, but that's okay because it's going to multi-aggregate 4G. So we're going to get multiple 4G signals. Let's see what we can get. Here, this modem has the same beep feature, so you can hear it beeping. Watch when I turn it the right direction. Can you hear that? It's going wild. That's because those towers are right over there. I'm going to lift this up. Nice and high. Crank it down. Whoa. Let's get it as perpendicular as I can. There you see, see it? Facing right at that hill. And now I'm gonna run a speed test. Bing. Still in airplane mode? Yep, still in airplane mode. Picking up Wi-Fi. It says I'm connected to the internet. It's AT&T. And let's go. I don't think you can see this with this background. Because the light's so blown out. Here, come over here. Holy dude. I just pulled a 94 over 4G. That's because it's multi-aggregating. And look at that up speed. Ping of 36. Can you even see this? Yeah, we can. Holy smokes. That is not bad at all. This, again, is a place that I pulled over because on Highway 17, this is where everyone loses their calls. In fact, this is where the police hang out because everyone loses their calls. Everyone speeds up to hang on to them. So, uh... Again, those mountains out there, I don't even know if we can see them anymore. Let's go. You can see that equipment out there. That is, measured it on Google Maps, that is 7.3 miles away. Let's try that one more time. There's my phone. Again, speed test. Bing, bing. Let's go. I'd love to get a hundred. 35 ping. Oh, flirting with a hundred. Look at that. 95. I'll take it. 95.3. And look at that up speed. If you lived here, you'd have to drive into work every day, but not anymore. You can do Zoom calls, anything like that. This is kick butt internet service and it happened with these two modems. These are unlike anything I've seen in the market. This one allows you to go into, there it is way up there, goes into bridge mode. Bridge mode allows me to uh, correct for the carrier grade NAT and uh, that has been special. That turned out way better than I thought it would and uh, these modems are extra special. So I'll put the links to them down below. The 4G one is kick butt does some amazing things. It'll work with Verizon. I've tested it with Verizon. I've tested it with AT&T and I've tested it with T-Mobile. In fact, all three of them. There you go, guys. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Give this thumbs up. It helps other people find it and pass it along to people that need a rural internet solution because this is as rural as, uh, well, you get around here, 7.3 miles away. See you in the next one, guys.